they're changing my voice. To understand my true stories about Morgan Hill and Santa Cruz, you need to understand that in reality, the way that is best to go defaults with the top martial artist ever possible. I know best. I am the best. I know myself better than anyone else knows me. Naturally, fair and square, I know best. Now for some of you, you're not smart enough to understand that the first time. Certainly attractive females do not get that at all. I've talked to thousands of them over the years and they never, ever, ever understand it. The word proof, to spell it out for you, is pro of. Pro of what? Well, Marshall is marital scrambled and Christ is the bridegroom. However, for those of you who don't understand that because you're not too bright, martial arts are lifestyles. Again, lifestyles. So whether you go by the Bible, the way, the truth, and the life, and you see that it's figurative, and there's no shortage of videos that show you that it is impossible to be of sound mind and to not know that the Bible is mostly figurative. It's a story. With a, it's a bunch of stories with morals and one big story with a, with a moral. Number one, it says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And this sums up the law and the prophets. All the prophets and the law hang on these things. It's like the greatest commandment, love God with all your heart. So if the story is so important, how can you sum up the whole story that quickly? In one phrase. So is the word all the words that are in all the stories in the Bible? Or is the word of God loving God with all your heart with a universal scale? Which obviously leads to sound moral action. Doing unto others as you would have them do unto you if you were moral, obviously. Which is loving God with all your heart and insisting that they serve God with all their hearts. You don't have to have Jews in the story for that moral. You don't have to have David versus Goliath to realize it's a martial art order. It's straightforward. So whether you go by the Bible, you go by martial arts. Martial arts are lifestyles. And I have defeated every system and every martial artist who ever lived where it matters most by going beyond them with focused moral intensity in my top martial arts challenge. Before tech, breeding, cheating, and generational ill-gotten gains ruins everything. And whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or Jew, you should know that I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you're a martial artist, you should know. If you're an atheist, you should know because you should be used to hearing people's arguments and you should see where they're right and you should see where you think that they're wrong. It is impossible, impossible, to compare what it takes to be the top martial artist ever possible to everything else and not know that I know best about what to do with your life. I mean, how could anyone be so dumb not to know that I'm right about this? Now look at the opposition view. There are prostitutes, okay, and some sleep with children. They have no sound goal for life. They think sleeping around, get a disease and die, maybe you don't. They think that's smart. They think not having honor is magically smart. There's jocks who are called dumb jocks. There's hoes who are called dumb hoes. There's poor people who just follow the rich blindly and have no aspirations for greatness at all. Think they're the masters at life? There's rich oppressors as far as the eye can see. You think being a dime a dozen, arrogant, pompous oppressor is the master way to be? There's people in denial. People who are too fragile to talk about what matters most. People who think that privilege makes them a god. I mean, just idiots. Just fucking idiots. People full of guilt from a lack of doing what's right. People who work for a corrupt government. People in criminal organizations with no higher cause. People in churches that are full of child molestation and for the life of them, they can't tell you which members of their staff molest children and which don't because their spirit is identical. Because they can't tell the difference. I can tell you that they're all in the spirit of raping children. I can tell you that because their spirit's identical. Now, I don't need to tell you which one rates kids and which one's not. They're all pirates. It's not important. If I made that my life go, I probably could tell. But it's fucking retarded to make things that aren't important to your life goals. 
not my life goal to memorize the whole dictionary. It's not my life goal to count the grains of sand on every beach. It's not my life goal to learn every language. And on and on and on and on. So it is dumber than hell. The fact that the word proof is pro of and many people know the wordplay. But no one will follow me because their cultures did, haven't produced a single person that is smart. It's that simple. You can be any culture you can think of except for mine. And hear my arguments and not be smart enough to obey God through me. With no viable counter argument. That's why the Egyptians said the heart is the seat of intelligence. He art, heart. The heart of the matter. The martial art of the matter. Royal African Falcon Martial Arts. So anytime someone did me wrong, be it a gangster or a police officer or whoever, a female, they were a dumb fuck that did the most righteous person that ever lived wrong. So can they win that exchange? No. No fucking way. What, were you born yesterday? Do you know how to spell your own fucking name? You know how to tie your shoes? How could you not understand that? <laughs> 